Hey everybody, welcome to a new video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to hold the violin bow properly, but I'm planning a couple videos in the future that are based around giving you guys tips and tricks for how to get a good, clean sound out of your instrument when you're playing it. The bowl hold is first and foremost one of the main techniques you need to have down in order to get a good, clean sound. So I figured I'd make a video separate from the general tips and tricks video that focused on the bowl hold and the bowl hold alone. I'm gonna be going through the beginner's version and then the intermediate to advanced version of the bowl hold. So without further ado, let's get started. Let me just get my Gucci glasses on. Just kidding, not Gucci. Amazon, $11. So this is my bow. I've had this bow for about 10 years. As you can see, it is very worn. Hope that's focusing. Um, it's worn out right here. This is where my thumb actually presses on it on the other side. And you can see it's the leather's totally worn down. But what you wanna do as a beginner player is start off, put your thumb right under here. This part of the bow is called the frog. You wanna put your thumb on the bottom of the frog, your pointer finger over the front, two fingers, on top of the frog so they're covering that kind of square part and your pinky goes on the tip and you kind of want the space between your pointer and these two fingers and then there's another space in between these two and your pinky it feels weird when you hold it like this for me right now this is actually highly uncomfortable but when you tilt it and you're playing it's actually a lot more comfortable and you'll feel that so yeah right here is what you want to be looking like also, what I just had right there um, was a pinky stretch. That's bad. Instead of flat, you want it to be bent, rounded. Pinky's nice and rounded, and your thumb's on the bottom. The next bow hold I'm gonna show you is the intermediate to advanced player level. This bow hold I'm gonna show you gives you more flexibility, more fluidity with your uh, movements and also is what's going to allow you to do eventually, you know, staccato where you're bouncing up and down really fast on a string or really fast um, runs and cadenzas in music. This is going to be the proper intermediate and advanced violin hold. Yeah. Okay, so instead of putting your thumb down here, you wanna slide it in underneath. You can kind of see it under there, just like that. And then you're going to put your two middle fingers down the same spot that they were for the beginner. Pinky down, same spot as it was, and then the forefinger. So your bow hold looks like this. It's hard to see. This is really awkward. I do have my thumb curved, kind of touching the bow hair. And it's okay if it does that every once in a while, but you don't want to continuously be touching the bow hair. So right here, I have my pinky on top, my two middle ones on the frog. My pointer is up here, and you can even stretch it up a little more to so if you need more, you know, balance. And then my thumb is hooked up underneath, right in that little, in the little slit between the tip of the frog right here, and then this uh, leather part. Some of you might not have this, leather part right here, um, some, but there's gonna be something on your bow. So basically whatever is you know closest to the frog, there's always gonna be a little notch. You wanna put your thumb in there and hold it there. This bow hold is gonna take a lot of practice. If you're not used to it, it can be very, very uncomfortable. For your pinky especially, you'll know you have it down when you can lift your pinky up and still hold the bow there. And when you're playing, don't worry too much about always having a perfect bow hold just like this. Your pinky's gonna come a little closer, your first finger is gonna come down, they're gonna go back up, they're gonna spread apart through all sorts of different types of patterns and notes and strings you're playing on in your music. You wanna keep this general bow hold. You want, you really do want this, especially the thumb under there and especially the rounded pinky. But don't like grip it too hard like this. It's gotta kind of come naturally. Those minor adjustments you'll be doing while you're playing are normal and natural. 
So here's a little clip of me playing just some random notes with the bow hold and you guys can see how it actually moves and adjusts a little bit as I play. <laughs> So that's really it when it comes to bow holds. Don't go on to the intermediate or the advanced ones before you're comfortable with the beginner. Because that first setup will strengthen your thumb and your pinky so you're able to do the intermediate and advanced version way better. Thanks again for watching my videos guys. If you have any questions or comments, um, leave them down below. And I'll see you next time.